I get a lot of questions about what type of fabric to buy on Spoonflower. I sell a lot of different uh, fabrics on there and people aren't really sure because they offer so many different options. And I wanted to recommend something that people might not know about, which is this little Spoonflower sample pack. You can order this on the website and it's, uh, I think, about $3. Um, I don't make any commission off of this. I just think it's a really neat little sample pack that they have. And it gives you um, samples of all their types of fabric and their um, fab uh, wallpaper and gift wrap and everything. And they're all printed differently. Um, and this is actually an older sample pack. So they have like a couple new fabrics. I think they have denim now and... Um, gauze and I'm not sure if the chiffon's in here it might be but it's great because it shows colors print differently on each type of fabric and although these are different prints you can kind of see the difference between um, how something prints on you know pure cotton versus how it prints on the sport lycra and how much more vibrant that is and what it looks like when it stretches and it tells you different details too. It'll tell you the pricing and how wide it is and um, what the content is. But I'll just go through and show each of these. Um, and I can talk about some of the ones I've used before. I have not used this one. It's like a budget cotton. Um, organic cotton sateen I have used a lot uh, before there was a lot of different options, I used this a lot for the wishing gowns. I would use something different that I'll show you in the future, um, but it was nice. It's one of the more expensive ones, but it is more of a matte finish, but it's still thick enough, and the colors print very vibrantly on it, which is what I liked about it, and very detailed. Cotton spandex jersey, this is really nice for clothing. Um, nice and soft and stretchy too. Sport Lycra, I've used a lot. This is what a lot of the leggings are made out of and some of the different lingerie that I've been working on. I also used it on this commission for this retro swimwear for these swimming trunks. Performance Knit. It's another knit that is nice for clothing, nice and light. Their fleece, which is so comfortable. Nice and thick and smooth and soft. Here's one of their sheer, sheerer fabrics. It's not totally sheer, but um, before they offered the chiffon, this is kind of all you had. And since it wasn't included in the sample pack, here's a picture of what the chiffon looks like and how much more transparent and delicate it is. Here's the Silky Fail, which is semi-new, and this is what I would use for if I made another wishing gown um, because it has just a little bit of sheen to it, but it drapes really well. It drapes better than the pure cotton, and it prints very vibrantly and beautifully. And I used this for the Tightrope Girl skirt. Cotton canvas, suede, and I think they have another suede or another type of velvety fabric. Again, this is an older swatch pack. Kona cotton, organic cotton knit, another one great for clothing and t-shirts. Modern jersey. Some of these fabrics, um, this is another great thing too, not just to see how they print and how thin they are, but whether they stretch and how much they stretch. This one's only stretching one way. Some will stretch four ways. The Minky. Now this one, I'm not sure if they offer this anymore. It was their 100% silk, um, their most expensive fabric too. Satin. This is what I used for the Nancy Tremaine gown. Um, very shiny if you need something like that, but also it's a good budget fabric. One of the more economical ones. Cotton twill. 
I used the lightweight cotton twill in this other retro swimwear commission for the beach jacket. Heavy cotton twill. Eco canvas. And again, I need to order another swatch pack because they have added quite a few new ones. Chiffon, which I'm so glad they added because I can use that in so many different things. And um, they have added denim and gauze, like I said. There might be a couple more too. But even if you have to order another one of these, um, like I said, it's only $3. So this is great to have just for three bucks because even just one swatch is $5 on Spoonflower. So to have something like this, even though it's not the exact um, fabric that you're wanting, it gives you a starting point for it. Um, just to see, you know, I want something really vibrant or I want something that's more textured or I want to make sure it's not see-through, you know, all those different things. Um, and it really, it really helps. It'll guide you more. And they also have, and I'm sure they have more products in the new one for here too, but they have the wallpaper, smooth wallpaper, gift wrap, and the woven wallpaper. But it's a nice little pack and it'll help you make a lot of decisions and then you can kind of decide which um, swatch to get after that. If you're going to be paying five dollars a swatch you know you don't want to um, and you have no idea which one you want this will really help you on that. So I thought it might be good to show a video of that and if you have any questions you can always email me. I get a lot of questions about my Spoonflower fabrics and you can tell me what your project is and I could recommend a certain fabric to you. To get one of these on the Spoonflower page, go to the design menu and under design tools, you'll find it there as the fourth option. I feel like it's a little hidden because this is a page that the fabric designers would generally go to rather than the customers. But it can benefit both. I hope this helps some customers a little bit. Again, I felt like this is kind of a hidden thing that I always knew about, but then I thought maybe I should share it with everyone. And while I make a very small commission on my fabrics, again, I don't make any commission on this sample pack, but it's my hopes that it will make people a little bit more informed and a little bit less confused and more likely to go and buy my fabrics. And you can find them at spoonflower.com slash profile slash Kajolin, or what I do is to just go to Google and type in Spoonflower Kajolin, and my page will come up. Also, I have about 15 new fabrics coming soon. I've just ordered swatches and proofs. You have to get them proofed before you offer them for sale, so keep an eye out for those, and thank you for watching.